All right, welcome here, everybody, to Indianapolis tonight. We're running the Gen 6 here at the Maximum Speed Racing Series League race. Boy, and I've been watching these guys, and they've been turning some fabulous, fabulous laps. running 60 laps here tonight in Indianapolis so although that sounds like a short race here at Indianapolis it's not really that short 60 laps around this place is uh, actually quite a long race so uh, make sure you get yourself something to drink get your bathroom break out of the way because we are coming up 12 minutes to qualifying <clears throat> sure how this race is going to turn out you know the car is a little slick on this track We are live, Ed. 10 for buddy. I'm on my way in.
Oh man, my favorite track. <laughs> I don't know about this car, but. <clears throat> yeah, it's a handful on here. That dreaded going into turn one. Wow. Ten four. Oh, looks like that one. I guess you're right, man. Turn one's up a handful. Less than four minutes here till qualifying. We're seeing some of the guys picking up the pace a little bit, other guys just maintaining the same. But I think this is going to be a 
pretty tight field here uh, to start out with. Good field. We've got about eight, yeah, seven, 17 drivers on the track right now. This should be a pretty decent race and a pretty good turnout. You know, as the old saying goes, Ed, you build it and they will come. <laughs> Today's me. <laughs> I believe that was uh, Harry Gaines number, wasn't it? 54. If I remember correctly. I'm not sure, buddy. I think it was. Man, oh man. I hate this car. I didn't hate it. I shouldn't even bought this damn thing. <laughs> oh, it's fun on some tracks. But a track like this, oof. it's a handful here. Even though you get them long straightaways and stuff, it's people going into the turn. You know, it's not so much coming out as it is going into the turn. It wants to push up the hill and just too much horsepower. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Too much speed, I mean, you know, when you reach over 200 mile an hour on the straightaways, you know, I just seen uh, Robert Crazy hit 203 on the, on the back stretch. And then he slides it coming off a turn four into the wall, into the pit wall. All right, that's going to do it for practice. We'll have to see what kind of job these guys can do. Get out here and turn a couple of hot laps around here and get some good qualifying times. And see how it goes from there. Did you get a couple laps in, Ed? I sure did, Rudy. Uh, <laughs> very, very slippery for me for this Gen 6 car for me. Um, I got some good drivers out there can handle that. I guess I'm not used to the horsepower <laughs> running that Indianapolis tonight. Man, what a handful that car is going to be. Yeah. Uh, this car, you know, the the track's fun with like the Indy cars where they hold, you know, they and you still got to lift in the turns with the Indy cars, but uh, they do hold a lot better. Oh, well, they sure do. But, uh, you know, like the trucks are a handful here, uh, the Gen 6. Uh, I think I've even ran the B car here before, and the B car is a little bit of a handful, too, coming off the turns. Well, there's not much banking in the turns, and, you know, boy, it would be awesome if there was some banking in these turns, man. It would be a heck of a track.
Oh, sure, sure thing, Rudy. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, the banking should be a little bit higher. Um, I don't see how NASCAR runs this track. I will be honest with you. Yeah. You know, you got the the long front stretch, and then you got a short shoot uh, coming off of one going into two, and then the long back stretch, and then another short shoot through three and four, and back around to the front stretch again. So, uh, you know, this is kind of like a. Um, we call it a little bit different than an oval because it's it is it's classified as an oval, but it's a funny oval because it's it's almost square, and uh, you know these guys got to lift off them off of the gas. You know, after you come into turn one, you got to lift off that gas and then get on into it just a little bit and then back off again to go around turn two, and then back into the gas for that long run down the back stretch and. And uh, it's hitting your marks and knowing your throttle points and braking points. And and uh, I know some guys don't even use brakes out here, Ed. No, they sure don't, Rudy. They just lift and let it roll through the corners, you know. And, and maybe that's the ticket here. Me, yeah, I, I just got to you just. I go in a little hot and then brake. <laughs> yeah, I do the same thing. Well, let's see how these guys can do. Travis Townsend rolling in here with a 50.699. Uh, Tommy Lee was the fastest out there earlier and, you know, in practice. So let's see what Tommy can roll in here. He wasn't going to race tonight. He said he wasn't feeling real real good. But it uh, uh, looks like he is going gonna, is gonna to take the grid anyhow. So I think he kind of surprised himself at how good of a lap he turned. <laughs> so but uh looks like you know we got Andrew Williams, uh Derek Cormier, Travis Townsend, uh Tommy Lee, Sean Butler, Mike Norris. Matthew Brackle, Tom Sprenner, um, Kevin O'Brien. I think Steve Stephen Hollingsworth. Yep, he's on there on the grid. So uh, it's good to see Vic Greenwood in there, Rudy. Yeah, Vic Greenwood, Bobby Craze, Kevin Schofield, Teddy Wisniewski. So quite a field. Now is Vic Greenwood on our team? Uh, I didn't see him on our on our uh, team speak. No, I didn't see him either, unless he went over to the old one again or something. I, I don't know. Yeah, 10 four. Yeah, I don't know. He he may have issues with it. I know some people do. They, they can't run team speak while they're racing. It messes with their FPS, and I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, 10 four. Are we? Maybe it's too much yakking in here for him. <laughs> Come on, man. Get a clue. <laughs> All right. Looks like that does it. And Travis Townsend going to pull off the pole here. So let's run down the grid here real quick. Is these guys uh, lining up? Travis Townsend on the pole with a 50.699. Tommy Lee going to be starting on the outside of him in the number 33. In third place, Kevin Schofield in the number 20. 
In fourth, the 88 of Sean Butler. In fifth, the number 55 of uh, Stephen Hollingsworth. In sixth, the double zero of Robert Craze. Kevin O'Brien starting seventh in the 84. Vic Greenwood on the outside of him in the number 11. Matthew Breckel in the number 17 starting on the ninth place. In tenth, the number three of Derek Cormier. In 11th, uh, Thomas Brandner in the 24. Thomas a pretty tough customer with these Gen 6s, so one to look out for. Uh, Michael Norris on the outside of him in the Skull Bandit, number 54. Uh, looks like back here, Stephen Pearson going to be starting actually in the 13th spot. Andrew Williams going to be starting 14th. Teddy Wisniewski going to be starting 15th in the number 44. And Mike Vining rounding out the field here. 18, or well, 16 cars in the field, excuse me. Uh, Michael Vining in uh, the number 19. The cars rolling off the grid now. And uh, get ready here to get this thing underway. 60 laps here. Sixty laps here at Indianapolis. So, uh, Ed, this uh, is going to be quite a long race. So, uh, you know, I know we talk each week about tire management, but you know these Gen Sixes, boy, they do like to burn up that right front real quick. Yeah, I, I figure maybe if you're really easy on it, you probably get maybe 20, uh, 30 laps. I don't think you get any more than that on this track, really. I mean, um, that right front will burn off. You over push this like we talk about tire management just a tire minute you want to be here oh, God. I can't believe this. Why does this still, do this? still got me Rudy yeah I'm here hold on folks some technical difficulties here Dang it. Sorry about that. I don't know why that thing does that. I just started doing that. Dang it. That's my driver's list, folks, that, that I use to uh, call up the drivers and stuff. So that's what you see in there. The driver's list. Yeah, pace cars in. All right, Travis leading them down here. Green, green, green. Let's go boogieing, guys. Let's go racing. And we're off. All right, Travis out to a little bit of a lead here. Kevin Schofield getting by Tommy Lee. Roll into the second spot. Tommy Lee now falling back a little ways back into the third spot. And Sean Butler right on his bumper. Trying to keep him to that draft. The draft really important here on these straightaways. Man, this is very important. We've got a car in the wall. Oh, scrapes the wall there. Ooh, who was that? I think that was uh, D'Amico, wasn't it? Okay. Um, sorry, Rudy. I didn't know what was that. Uh, the, the 84 car. That's who it was. Mm -hmm. Lost a lot of positions on it. Like I said, Rudy, you gotta be really easy here to that burn that right front off. Just manage those tires on that car and you go a long ways on this track. Yes, sir.
Looks like everybody's just riding in line right now, Rudy. No hard racing anywhere. Like oh, we got a car loose. Went in the pit. Oh, gonna get him for speed. That was a 30 or all three. Yeah, no, the all three maybe. No. Um, let's see. Let's see some of them. Maybe it's a, I don't know who it was. Rudy. <laughs> That, uh, the 20, it was the 24 of Thomas Brandner. Got real loose. Uh, did not bring out the caution though. Let's go back and take a look at this. It got really loose coming off of four and had quite the handful. But yeah, you're right. Boy, he got tried to get that thing locked down. I I don't know if he got speeding on pit road or not. He probably did. Looked like. He was going quite fast right there. Wow. Right, Thomas Brandt, or uh, Tom, Travis Townsend still out in lead here. And Kevin Schofield in tow, not far behind him. Forehead out of 60, so well, they're clicking them down because they've got a lot of racing to go here. But Travis leading the way here, and man, I'm telling you what, he's really kicking up the dust. He sure is. Kevin Schofield now about a half a second behind him. And clear back here in third now. Uh, Sean Butler as Tommy Lee goes back up to the team. We have a smoker in the pit there, Rudy. Was that the 54? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it must be. He's on the pit. That was Michael North. I gotta go back and see what happened to his car there, Rudy. Okay. Sure thing. Stephen Hollingsworth now up to the fifth spot. Clear back here in sixth. Uh, Victor Greenwood started in the eighth position, but here he is running in the sixth spot as he did get by a couple cars. A couple cars. I kind of wanted to give a shout out here to Matthew Greco and that new paint job he's got. It's an awesome paint job. It's a Diablo 3 paint scheme. What a beautiful paint job on that car. Oh, the 54 got into the double zero, then the uh, 84 come along and got into the 84, and, and that's what happened. Wow. Let's take a look here uh, at Matthew's car. As you can see, the hood on that thing, beautiful paint job on that thing, Diablo 3. Uh, it looks like he gets up the hill a little ways and is going to allow a couple guys to get by him on the inside. So Matthew going to lose a couple of positions here. You said uh, Matthew uh, Brickle already? Yeah. I uh, see. I just saw him in the Intel car. Uh, you need to update your trading paint. A uh, 4 He just got a brand new paint scheme today, I guess, or something. Oh yeah, 10 4 <laughs> That that uh, that shift in R doesn't work. Uh, control R. Yeah, I did that once, but uh, not, nothing happened. I mean, everything went white, but they showed me back the same cars that I had before. Uh, is your training paint running? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I can't get mine to start with my computer, so even though that I got might... it set to do it, it just still doesn't do it. All right, so Matthew running in the ninth position, that's right where he started. Now right behind him, Derek Cormier in the number three car. You look like Derek kind of ride, riding it out right now. Running where he started. A lot of these guys are, though. The only really changes have, have been up in the front here. Let's go up there. Sean Butler, he started fourth, but here he is running in the third position. Uh, Tommy Lee he started second, and he's running fourth. And Tommy was fastest in practice, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe just playing a safe for right now. And that's, that's kind of smart on his part when you say it. 
you might not be able to talk. Easy. Right Can you hear me, Rudy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of smart right now. He's kind of riding this thing out a little bit. You know, they're coming to... Oh, they just took lap eight, so they still got a heck of a lot of racing. Lap nine. They still got a heck of a lot of racing to go here. Oh, and caution is out. No. No, I guess not. I thought I, thought I seen caution light fly. Sorry. False alarm. <laughs> I really kind of expected to see a few cautions here today, but it seems this is kind of one of them uh, self-cleaning tracks. There's a lot of room to go when you spin and you spin down on the inside. There's a lot of room to go down there and not come back up onto the track. So, kind of a self-cleaning track. And, uh, you know, I, I got to give, uh, oh, Kevin really loose on that. Kevin O'Brien already many laps down. Don't look like he is quite up to speed. Already uh, in the 14th spot. Showing him dead last right, right now. So what's going on with him? Uh, him and you see Thomas Brander a couple laps down also. Michael Norris a couple laps down. One lap down, me. But he's back out there running, so this is this is good. Uh, and I love to see that Skull Bandit car out there on the track. And Robert Cray's having a good day running in the the 11th spot. As he comes around, he'll take 11th there. It looks like we had a little bit of a change. So Mike Vining now in 10th. Sorry about that, Rudy. I got kicked out of iRacing. I'm going on. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, Derek Cormier getting by Teddy Wisniewski. And Mike, or uh, Derek Cormier moving into the seventh position. Him and Teddy Wisniewski were really, really close together there. Trying to hang on to his draft, but it looks like Derek is pulling away by a little bit. Uh, Derek running 11 seconds behind the leader. And these guys are starting to figure these cars out now on this uh, kind of slick oval. Slick going into turn. It's all about throttling points here. Throttle means uh, is a must here. You got to know when to lift and when to get back in that throttle. You able to get back in it? I'm looking at it right now, Rudy. As long as you didn't withdraw, it should let you back in. Yeah, I didn't withdraw. I just it kicked me out. Yeah. Hmm. So first. <laughs> yeah. Right, Sean Butler running one point, no, one second. Excuse me, one second behind the leaders here. Looks like Kevin Schofield might be reeling in Travis Townsend as he's caught up to him. He's maintaining there about a half a second behind Travis. Travis really strong here today. He's, he's pretty much dominant about anywhere we go with any of the vehicles. You know, and Travis just one heck of a one heck of a racer. He's kind of like uh, the old Tony Godwin, Ed. <laughs> sure thing, Rudy. You know, he pretty much was tough anywhere we went. But, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to get this out here. You know, Sean Butler is leading in all three series, the truck series, the Gen 6, and the car. He is leading the point. Oh, wow. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? The only one he's not leading is, sure is. the V8 supercars we run on Saturday night, which uh, Kevin O'Brien's leading, and I'm in second. Which is pretty good, but 
I'm about to lose that second place. I I can't. I have I have fun running them, and that you know that's my fun time. It's the only series that I run in in the league, and I have fun with that car. I just I love that car. And you know the whole thing of it is, is you know, we only run road courses with that, and it, and it's good experience to get out and run at road courses. And I don't know if Caretaker's in uh, Twitch chat or not. He probably is. He usually is. So I will be broadcasting Saturday out my windshield. Okay. Just for you guys. I do it just for you guys now. Because I've never done that. I've never, never broadcasted out my windshield. Yeah, I hear you, But I guess it kind of gives you guys a first-hand look of, you know, you can see. Not that I'm a great racer by any means, but... You can see what's going on on the track, you know, and it, that, that's cool. Kevin O'Brien really there, uh, uh, slipped up there, there, he lost control of the car, spun it around there, oh. saved it, now he's, yeah, he's back on the track. It looks like uh, Robert Craze gets by Matthew Breckel to go into the 10th spot. So Robert Craze picking up a spot. Good job. Robert. Driving that double, the hungry, uh, hungry, uh, ooh, little damage in the back of that car. Try for hungry yeah. car, double zero. Yes, he does have a little bit of damage on that, uh, the left rear there. Let's go take a look at it and just see how bad this is, Ed. Whoop. A tenth floor, Rudy. There's Robert. He, uh, yeah, he does have a little bit of damage on that left rear. Now that could have been, you know, that could have been from the start of the race. It could have been a little bump, maybe uh, a checkup, you know, right from the beginning of the race. But Matthew Brickle boy really hit the wall. Got it, got it going though. I mean, it's running all right now. That's what happens. <laughs> yep, Robert running the drive to hunger org car right there. So, if you all want to go donate, there's the website to go donate. Drive to hunger org. Let's get back up here to our leader. Let's see where everybody's at here. Mike Vining now. Uh, I'm sure Mike Vining. I don't know where he at. He's in the ninth place as they come around here. I show him in the tenth place, really, unless I'm on. I just hit my refresh. Yeah, I don't know. Something's not right here with my settings here. I don't know what's going on. Teddy Winsky is in ninth place. Yeah, see, this is not accurate here for some reason. I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart this whole dog on the thing here because something's not right with it. It's not showing things right. Oh, and it did that again. Are you kidding me? Come on. Why does it keep doing that? I don't understand. Okay. But a mess. Alright, looks like Steven Pearson has taken his car behind the wall. Right? The only car that has went behind the wall, so we're left with 14 cars in the race now. Oh, wow. It's still not right. I don't know what's going on with that thing. It's the driver's thing is not matching up here. I don't know. Well, we're gonna go by this anyway. So Derek Cormier in seventh. Steven Pearson. Now I'm showing him. See that? 
I don't know what the heck's up with that. It's not showing it right here. That's really weird. There's something really messed up with this. Because I was showing Steven Pearson not even in the race. Yeah, it's not even showing him in the race. <laughs> and here he is running in the sixth spot. I don't know what's going on with that thing. I'm good, buddy. I'm probably going to have to uh, go completely redo this whole thing here. I've got the, you know, I've got it all saved and everything. But anyhow, Stephen Pearson running in the six, in the fifth spot. Stephen Hollingsworth in the Miller Lite. Chevrolet. Tommy Lee still hanging on here in fourth. Back about 7.3 seconds, but uh, still hanging. Sean Butler, boy, these front three here knows the tail, Ed. What a race going on between these front three. And, you know, we've seen... In the past few weeks here, the past couple of weeks, we've seen these three right here battling. Seems like every race. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I sure have, Rudy. Uh, last night we had uh, Travis Townsend and uh, Sean Butler battling for the lead in the truck league race. And I'm telling you what, that was one of the best races that I have ever seen here at Maxon Speed Racing. It was exciting. And it was exciting all the way to the end. Just side-by-side -side racing, the lead swapping up. Uh, Sean and Travis just having a ball racing each other. And they both commented it uh, on it after the race there, how much fun they had. And, and, you know, nobody really got away. You know, uh, they didn't get away from each other. They were right there and trading the lead up and... It was just an amazing race. So, well, here we are coming to, uh, well, they're on lap 23 right now, Ed, so uh, they're clicking the laps down quite fast. Oh, they sure are, Rudy. Just a little over a, a third of the way already. But uh, I think we're gonna probably get some pit stops here probably in the next uh, five, six laps, I think, Ed. Yeah, maybe a little bit further. I think they can go about 30. I'm thinking about 32 laps. I, I, I can't remember. See, I can't remember what the pit window. You know, I need to start right now. <laughs> you know, that would be really good to know. That would be some very useful information for us up here in the booth to know when the pit window is. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I might just have to start doing that. Uh, start taking a little, some little notes on the side and uh, see when the pit window is. You know, maybe even a few of them I might have to go out and try myself. Kevin Schofield like, now look, looking on the looks like he's looking on the inside. Yep, yeah. he takes it. He takes that pass. Good job, Kevin. Yet to lead a lap. Travis has led all the laps so far. And let's see if he can bring it around here, bring it to the line, and get a lap in. He can lead this. He will uh, get a bonus point, and he does lead it. Good job, good job, Kevin. Very nice. You know, these three right here. I'm telling you what, these three. Uh, I I would put them up up against pretty much about anybody in I racing. Oh, and Sean Butler getting a run on Travis now. Oh, he looked to the inside for a second there. I think he was sliding. He didn't want to run him over, Rudy. Wow, I hate to lead this battle here, folks, but we've got to go back through the field a little bit and see how everybody else is doing. Tommy Lee. Way. Oh, he takes that. He takes that inside. Sean takes the inside. He's got yep. second position, Rudy. Yep, Sean rolls into the second place. So Travis going backwards now. We're heating those tires, running it too hard. Yeah, trying to stay out ahead of these two. They've been using up that rubber. 
don't take much. You know, if he's already feeling that cold, he's blinking a little bit too, and that could be that could be having some problems. Connection issues can affect you. Oh, it sure can. With Tommy Lee way back here, 8.8 .8 seconds behind this group, but still running in the fourth spot all by himself. Nobody to draft with. Uh, Stephen Hollingsworth. Oh, we got a caution, Ed. We sure do. Oh, we got a oh Thomas Brander, uh, Matthew Breckel into that. Well, let's go back and take a look at this, folks. We'll try to go to the far chase view here and see what happens. Looks like Thomas Brander going by Matthew Breckel, but Matthew was a little bit loose and come out into Thomas Brander. Oh, man. I know Matthew didn't mean to do that. It looked like he was just really loose on the, on the um, exit of three and didn't have that car under control and uh, bringing out the first caution. So these guys are really going to be welcoming this uh, caution here. Uh, we're going to get up here to our leader, Kevin Schofield. Is Kevin Schofield going to be bringing him down pit road here? I believe. So these guys are going to be welcoming this uh, pit stop, I'm sure. You know, in the first lap or two, they're going to have to be a little gentle on the tires so they get some heat build up there. But uh, after, these, after they do make pit stops here, and it does look like everybody coming down on pit road, Ed. They sure are already. to watch these guys and see what kind of pit strategies they're going to have. I'm sure they're going to, we're not going to see any two tire change. I think we're going to see everybody can take four and full tank of fuel. That way they can make it the rest of the way on fuel. All right, Schofield coming to a stop. Oh, he overshoots his pit and had to back up. And Tommy Lee the same. Oh, man. This could be bad. Looks like we may have uh, Travis Townsend might come back out the leader. And he does. Sean Butler coming out second. Schofield third. Oh, man. What a change of events, Ed. And, you know, I, sure. <laughs> I say that every single race. I say the race can be won or lost on pit road. And I'm telling you what, right there is a good example of it. Sean, did Sean Butler come out of there first? Uh, no, it should have been Travis Townsend, I believe. Yeah, Travis yep, Townsend. Yep, it is, it is. I just had to hit my refresh. How many laps is this, Rudy? Uh, 60 laps, and they're, uh, they're coming to lap 29, so we're almost halfway already. Long race. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of unfortunate for Travis, or uh, for Thomas Brandner getting caught up in that Matthew Breckel, you know, just didn't quite have that car under control, and uh, coming off of turn three, and it managed to catch up... Uh, uh, caught up Thomas Brandner and uh, Kevin O'Brien into that. But this is good for some of these guys here um, that are going to get their laps back. So, you know, yeah, this is, this is going to help bring that field back up. 
and uh, you know, I think we're going to get back to some really good racing now. The guys are familiar for, with what the car is going to do now. So, uh, you know, they're, they're gonna they're gonna have they got an idea what what to expect out of the car now. So, but Travis back out in the lead now, and this is not what uh, this is not what Sean Butler and Kevin Schofield wanted to see. They did not want to see Travis. Travis back out in the lead because uh, he gets out there. He's really good on fresh tires, and you know I, I've noticed that at about anything he runs, he's really good on fresh tires. And once he gets about 10, 15 laps on their tires, he starts fading. And I think yep, that's what it takes. They start, you know, they start they start wearing that right front, and that's what happens. And I don't, you know, I don't know if it's the line he takes or if he's just overdriving it or I, I don't know. You know, everybody has their own different driving styles and and uh, he may be just driving it into the turns a little bit too hard and that could be wearing that right front out, Ed. That could be. Now, here's a question I'm going to ask you, Reed. Now, isn't a big golf course in the, in the center of this uh, track or some around this track? Yeah. Uh, part of it's inside the track and the other parts outside the track it's kind of weird there's a tunnel that goes uh, underneath uh, the back stretch uh -huh. and that's how the golf carts get over to now, i don't know which sides you know whether the 18th hole is the inside of the track or the outside i don't know but yeah part of it's inside and part of it's outside that's kind of cool yeah it is and i see i also see um, I don't know if it's part of the, uh, is it inside little little track inside this place too. Well, there's a road course inside. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Indy Road. It's it's a cool track, and I believe we're going to be running that in the the Gen or the V8 Supercar Series. We're going to be running the Indy Road. That, that's kind of fun, you know. That that's I've never ever turned a lap on that track. Never right, been on that right. track, but oh yeah, ten four. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna find out what it's like <laughs> when we get to it. All right, the lights are off on the pace car, Ed. We're going back to green flag racing here, and it looked like uh, I think that was Robert Craze gets the way by. Well, not to get the way by. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, it's Kevin O'Brien. Oh, Kevin O'Brien. Okay, Kevin O'Brien get the way by. Yeah, he stayed out there uh, in front of these guys, and now he's not going to be able to pit. So, but it's not going to much matter. He's like four laps down. But uh, to keep up with this pack, he's got to go clear around the track and get caught back up to this field. And it's a long oh, he sure does. Days. It is sure is. <laughs> he's really powering it around here, trying to get caught up to these guys before they go back to green. We've had a couple other guys, uh, let's see, I'm not sure who it was, that was just coming off of pit road. Teddy Wisniewski just coming off of pit road. So late pit stop for him. But getting back up here to our leader. Getting ready to go green this time by Ed. Maybe we'll get the, sure rest, are, Rudy. Get the rest of this race in uh, without any more cautions. This will be great. Keep it green and keep it clean. Here you go. <laughs> it's been a pretty good race so far. I mean, with, you know, them front three pulling away like that, but here they are starting first, second, and third again, Ed. <laughs> the Travis back out front. Pace cars. Okay, we are pace cars in. Go ahead, Ed. I'm sorry. Green, green, green. Let's go boogie, you guys. Let's go racing one more time. Boy, Kevin's going leave him down. Kevin's going hard on his back bumper, but Sean Butler trying to hang on to that outside, and that's not a good place to try to hang on to. And he finally ducks it back in behind Kevin Schofield. 
So we're going to have to see. Now, Travis is going to probably pull out with a little bit of a lead like he does all the time on the new tires. But after about 10, 15 laps, he seems to fade off. Burning them tires up really quick or what? Man. Everybody settling in knows the tail now. Vic Greenwood uh, taking his car behind the pit wall. And, uh, I think the Teddy Wisniewski did too. Oh wow. Uh, uh, Must have some problems too. Let's go back through the field here. Kevin Schofield in second. Sean Butler third. Stephen Hollingsworth fourth. You see there's Stephen Pearson right there in fifth. And I, my driver's list is showing him. I don't know what's going oh, wow. on with it. I, something's really a mess with it. Derek Coyne in sixth. Tommy Lee in seventh. Uh, he lost a lot of positions after coming off the pit road. Uh, Mike Dining lose a couple positions here. Michael Morris in tenth. Teddy Wisniewski in 11th, so he's, he's still on the track. I don't know what something's going on with this one. He's freaking out on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to redo everything, I think, here. Thomas Brander in the 12th position now, taking a peek on the inside of Tommy Lee. And get, completes the pass on Tommy Lee, and that rolls him into, uh, let's see, that would be into the... Tommy, yeah, Tommy Lee seven, and that well actually that's going to put Tommy Lee back to eight. Uh, so Thomas Brander did get by. Him. a new skull car going to come right at you next, Rudy. Oh, okay. Gen 6? Whatever you want it no, on. No, 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 no. I got my John Deere car. I told you. What do you want it on, buddy? I'm never so What do you want it on? Uh, you want it on a truck? Yes. I need a truck. But I need Tommy Lee got a little loose. I need Max BTV on it, but not all over it like you did that one car. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I won't do that to you, Rudy. Like on the or mood or something, you know, that looks cool. Yeah, 10 4. That's cool. Ooh, yeah, I love it. Love it. Like Sean Butler still in the third position here. Kevin Schofield hanging onto the back bumper of Travis Townsend. Boy, I'll tell you, he keeps every now and then wanting what he like. He's gonna take a peek, but just can't muster up the power to get by Travis. And both of them showing a little bit of looseness coming off these turns. So you know, they've got the hammer down coming off these turns hard. Hey, Ed and Rudy, this is Mike Domingo. What's going on? Hey, what's up? What's up, Michael? How you guys doing tonight? Good. How about yourself? Good. I'm doing good. Just took fifth over the qualifier. All right, good deal. Then you're in, huh? Yeah, I wish I was out here racing tonight. It's got a new Max Speed TV car painted up today. It would have looked real nice. These skins look real nice out here tonight. Well, this has been a a pretty good race here, Michael. It's. Uh, We've had one, only had one caution, I believe it was on lap 26 or 27, and uh, it was uh, involved three cars, but it was just kind of a slip up, uh, I believe it was Robert Grace looked up and caught Thomas Brander and Kevin Lee. Well, and, uh, but they've got these things back out here, 
but it's been a three-car show up front here pretty much the whole race. Uh, Travis Townsend, Kevin Schofield, and Sean Butler have been battling back and forth and back and forth, so and it's been really a good, good race so far. Yeah, I've been watching these guys. It looks like a lot of slipping and sliding, a lot of pushing coming out of the corners. Yeah, this car's uh, quite a handful on this track, as you well know. Uh, you know, it's all about throttle points at this track and uh, and braking points. But, you know, a lot of these guys don't even get brakes. I've never thought about that. They just back up the turns and, and let it uh, roll through the corners. Yeah, it depends. It depends. Here at Indianapolis, it depends. Going into turn one where they're just coming out of right now, if um, if you want to drive it in deeper, you have to you have to lift and just tap the brake, and it sets the front end of the car, and it turns really it turns really good. And same thing coming out of four up there, or actually going into four. If you tap the brake there, you'll you'll get a better turn out of it that way too. It's a tough track with these big heavy cars. Sean Butler now taking a peek on the inside of Kevin Schofield, and that would be for the second position. And he does complete the pass. Now he's going to go after Travis Townsend. Uh, these three here have been just dominating this race. Up here right now. It's, been, it's been a great show. Yeah, Don King. Don King's wondering what your speeds are. He's just running about a 206 down the front stretch. Yeah, is that what the fix set up? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm watching Kevin Schofield right now. Don's in the chat room. He's wondering oh, what the oh. speeds were on the straightaways. Oh yeah, I I seen uh, I seen 203, but I, you know, I, like I said, let me uh, pop up the, the big driver info here, and we'll watch um, we'll watch Kevin Schofield here because he is going to be getting some draft off of uh, uh, Sean Butler right ahead of him. So we'll we'll watch and see what kind of speeds he gets up to here. Yeah, he's flying in the draft on the back stretch. He just ran a 205 down the back stretch. I was going to say, guys, I, I saw uh, Kevin uh, uh, Schofield there uh, driving a 205 there on the back stretch. Yeah, I just seen a 207 by Kevin on the front stretch. He just barely hit 207 right there, right at the end of the front stretch. Yeah, and in order to hold that kind of speed going, you know, heading into turn one, you're gonna have to tap that brake. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, to set that front end down. Yeah, but if you tap, you know, if you tap it for just a split second too long, <laughs> you know, it's really unpredictable what's gonna happen to you. You know, this is kind of a strange track that the front, the front stretch is actually faster than the back stretch. And you know, I've, I've often wondered why, because you know, the configuration of this track is the same. The turns are the same. But it's, I don't know, it's got to be the, the coming off of turn two is different than coming off of turn four or something. Well, you can, you can actually take turn three and four as one turn, you know. If you, if you, line, if you set up your turn just right, uh, you, can make, you can round it into one turn, and that gives you quite a bit of speed coming out of four. Back here, Steven Pearson running in the fourth position. Steven having a great day. He, he's just been uh, coming a long ways in the league here. Uh, he's, he's, uh, being a pretty uh, dominant contender. Yeah, 10 4. Hey, uh, I just, real quick, while well, I got a chance, um, Mountain Dew in the chat room, you were the winner of the $5 last night. Uh, if you want a PM, uh, Mike and Mac MacP TV on iRacing, uh, we'll hook you up, buddy. Nice having you out there. Next week, uh, folks, we're going to have a few, uh, a few extra surprises for you guys uh, in Twitch chat. So uh, make sure you tune in because uh, we're going to be giving some some money away. So just stay tuned. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about some things that we're planning on doing for the drivers. But I, I don't want to exclude you Twitch viewers either because you're very important to us. Yeah, maybe even a full buffet for you guys, you know, someday. We were working on it, guys. A full what? Buffet. What's that? Oh, you never been to a buffet, Rudy? Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said buffet, and I was like, what's a buffet? <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Okay, 
uh, Derek Cormier. Now, Derek Cormier is up to fifth spot. Derek, you know, he is really a good, 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 good. Coach. And uh, you know, to see him up here in the fifth is not a big surprise to me. See, I don't know why this looks like it skipped over. Oh, okay, I see. Because uh, Thomas Brander, yeah, Thomas Brander in a couple laps now. Ooh, Derek Cormier. What happened to Derek? Ooh, he blinked out for a long time there. Tommy Lee back to the sixth spot. These guys all kind of spread out around the field here a little bit now. Stephen Hollingsworth running in the seventh place. Mike yeah, I think I, I think what's happening, Rui, they're they're just letting their tires, you no, know, burning those tires up, and just you know letting the car do the work and try to get through this race. We're gonna get back up here to our leader, Travis Townsend. We got 17 laps to go here, guys, and uh, they've really been, man, I'm telling you what, they've been putting on a heck of a show here today. For this car being such a handful at this track, well, I'll tell you what, they're running good. Sean Butler now in second, Hank trying to hang on to Travis Townsend with a little wiggly coming off of a turn, whatever turn that was, three. And there's a little wiggly coming off of four that turn, too. Yeah, I see a lot of guys about pushing into that wall coming out of four there. Let's, uh, Let's uh, look back on uh, Sean Butler here. Looking back on Sean here, you can see how tight they are here. And Sean trying to stay into that draft of Travis Townsend. Oh, nice camera angle too. I love that one. Yeah, kind of stole that off of somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea. I like yeah. the idea. We won't mention any names nope, out there, nope, guys. Nope. 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 Don't mention any names. <laughs> well, we appreciate the help, you guys. Any other broadcasters, just keep helping us out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> now let's ride on board here with... Uh, we'll go on board with uh, Sean Butler. We'll look ahead to uh, our leader and see what kind of lines, the different lines that they're going to be running. And it looks like Sean just kind of mirroring Travis's line. Now we're coming up about the time when Travis starts to fall off. And I hate to see that, uh, but, you know, Sean Butler's kind of one that he likes to save his equipment, save his tires to, to be there at the end. Now these guys had a super race last night, and you guys in the Twitch chat that watched the race last night, the truck race at Atlanta. These two here battled to the all the way to the end, and it was absolutely fabulous. Loved that finish. I hated that the caution come out with a couple to go, but and I, I think these guys wanted to see it go green the rest of the way too. But Travis a little bit loose that time. Uh, and uh, Sean may be taking a peek here, and he Looks does. like he's going to get it. He's, and here comes Sean, motoring by on lap 14. See ya. Got to go, you, baby. You're right, Rudy. You know, those tires are out the 14 or 15 laps. Uh, uh, Travis tires, they, they just wear out. Yeah. Yeah, he really drove it in deep right there to take that position, too, man. He, was, he had to have been hitting that brake. <laughs> to Sean Butler. Sean Butler going to be our new leader. And if I remember correctly, I think... Oops. Doggone it. What happened there? Yeah, that's uh, Sean's first lap that he's led today. And you know, it's not about leading a bunch of laps. It's about leading that last one that's going to get it. You know? <laughs> And you know, Michael, we were talking about this uh, before you come in, that uh, uh, Sean's leading the truck series in points, the Gen 6 in points, and the B-car in points. So, wow, wow, that's impressive. Yeah, he's, a, he's a, it's like you said, you know, he's the type that, he, he's in no hurry. <laughs> 
You didn't know her. He'll come up and sneak up on you at the end of the race and it's over for you. But you know, I really, I found out some really kind of hard hit news here earlier. Uh, Sean's only going to be able to race with us a couple more races. And uh, he's going to be switching shifts and be working night shift. So he won't be able to race with us anymore. Oh, uh, that's too bad because he's really one of the fans' favorites. Um, a lot of everyone likes racing with the guy. So, well, he kind of did ask if we were going to be doing anything like throughout the day, and I said, "Yeah, you can, man, we'll throw something up." <laughs> you know? Looks like Travis making a move on him again. We'll get back up here to uh, them to Travis blinking. Oh, blinking. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's in it now. And, you know, that's costing him drafting right there because uh, he could be drafting a lot better if he wasn't losing connection or whatever. Wow, he's about to there. lose connection, guys. Yeah, he's gone. Man. I thought for a minute that I had too many Roman Cokes, but I'm glad you cleared that up. <laughs> I was on his car, man, and I, like, blinked out for a while. Yeah, <laughs> We had settled back in now, but you know that does he do, does lose a little bit of draft when that happens. Yeah, Sean Butler hitting 205 by himself out there in the clean air. Yep. And clean air, we know, you know, pretty much by any vehicle, clean air is, oh, it just makes it absolutely amazing out there by yourself. Yeah, really. I just don't know how his tires are holding up the way. Driving so deep into the turns right now. Yep. Well, we may see him fall off even further, maybe, and uh, Kevin Schofield might be able to run, reel him in. But for right now, Travis right now. is hanging right on the back bumper. See these guys that are always running up front, running real fast like this. They have the they have the ability to change their driving style to to fit the tire wear and. and and any kind of damage mm -hmm. um, you know w they may not be breaking in the beginning of the race but they they know when to shift up and then start tapping and backing up their corners and then tapping the brake and Ooh. a lot of people you know don't think about that too much and they, right. they try to just run the car the same way through the race you can't do that Stephen Pearson now in the Ford division Derek Cormier, Cormier is in the fifth Tommy Lee in sixth Back in seventh, seventh, Stephen Hollingsworth still running in the race. All the way back behind the, our leader. Boy, I was watching that Kevin uh, Schofield boy. He, he slammed the wall there a little bit, but got her going. Boy, look at Sean Butler, man. He's way, I mean, going down low, going up high. I know he's trying to shake uh, Travis there. He is. Yeah. Trying to break that draft. Because they're going to be coming to eight laps to go this time. Bye, guys. Ooh, Travis, Travis just got oh, really oh, 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 watch it. Yeah. Ooh. I give, uh, 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 give Kevin uh, Schofield to catch up there if he can. Maybe not. Wow. And Sean says, see you later. Yep. That was, that was bad there. That was a good save by his part, boy, because he got, yeah, he got in that wall and he saved that car. He hit the back end and the front end, so, man. I don't know if that knocked the toe out or not. It doesn't seem to be a drive affecting his speed any but well I'll tell you what guys with seven laps to go I don't think he's gonna be able to catch him now no 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 that car's messed up now but now we're gonna have to kind of keep our keep our eyes on Kevin Schofield uh, trying to reel Travis in and for that second spot Kevin seen that and I'll bet you his heart come right up in his mouth he thought yes I can pick up another spot <laughs> I think I let that his eyes lit right up. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm correct, it looks like Kevin is a good three seconds back or in front of Steve Pearson. Uh, well, Steve, Steve Pearson actually is running back quite a little way. Well, here's why I want to know. Did, uh, the last pit stop we had, did Kevin only take two tires? I think everybody took four. Well, because I know these guys, all these three top runners, Rudy, were right up front there, tight together. So I don't know how Kevin got uh, rolled back almost three seconds back. 
Kevin Schofield? Yeah. Or just Sean and Travis pulling away. They were racing each other so hard. They just pulled away from him. Yeah, 10 4. They were drafting, and they once they got away from him and he lost the draft, he just kind of started falling back. But, uh, okay, now going back to the fourth, Stephen Pearson running in the fourth spot. Derek Warner right on his tail. Derek wanting that, wanting that position from him. Come on, Kevin, you can do it, buddy. Hey, we didn't get a pick tonight, did we, Rudy? <laughs> no. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Sean Butler at this point. I think. Oh, did too late. You are. Well, jeez. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, he's way up front. I better go with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but Sean, you know, we talk about him. <coughs> excuse me, a lot that. He's just Mr. Cool Cucumber until it's time to go, and uh, you know, here he is another one. You know, he, he played it safe, he played it cool the whole race, and coming down here we got five to go, and he's got quite a lead over Travis Townsend. And yeah, I don't think he's going to catch him, buddy. No, and I think we'll probably hear about this in, in, uh, in the interview the drivers. Travis is probably going to give us a what for what happened to him so uh, you know I'm sure he's probably not too happy right now well you know he ain't Rudy um, he burned his equipment up too early yeah. in, the, in the run I'm sure he would just love to be up there racing with uh, Sean Butler they had such a blast last night racing together and, and uh, raced so clean around each other and that, you know that's what it's all about Looks like Sean might catch uh, Old Greco here before the before the finish flag comes out. to go here to go around this big facility. I'm telling you, this is a, a big track. You know, there's only two and a half miles around here, and it seems like it's about five, don't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. you know, it's, it's not even... Oh, and Travis loose again, coming off of turn four. But, you know, he is pushing that thing for all he can get out of it, trying to stay ahead of Kevin Schofield, basically. I don't believe he's got enough time here to catch Sean Butler, but uh, trying to stay ahead of Kevin Schofield to finish second is goal right now. Yeah, he's loose all the way around the corners. I believe his tires are gone, and that damage got to have a little bit of front end effect on him. I'm sure it does. He didn't make it, you know, a straight in any way of a straight on contact with the wall. He, luckily, or he'd have been done. I think. Yeah. 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 He just kind of like tapped the rear and. Made the front tap, and then he saved it. You know, that, that right, was, right. Good save. <laughs> yeah, if he'd have got into that wall any harder, uh, he would have. He would have probably either bounced down and went down into pit road, or lost it and spun out. You know, and uh, did a great job saving. It. I think Kevin just waited to get off, get on his bumper a little bit, get some a uh, little draft, and um, pick some air up off his car in the front of him. Um, that's what he's looking for right now, guys. Michael Lawrence running back here in the eighth spot. Running pretty good in this goal bandit. Robert Cray's running in ninth. One more lap. Two more laps, Rudy. Tom <laughs> Brandon one lap down, but running in the tenth spot. So he's picked up quite a bit here. Uh, you know, from being caught up in that wreck there with Kevin O'Brien and uh, Robert Craze. So uh, he picked up a lot. But back up here to our leader, Sean Butler, still powering it around here. White flag, guys, white flag. White flag. One more trip around this huge place. Oh. And Travis Townsend now 2.2 seconds behind Sean. So I would say unless Sean really messes up here, He's got two more turns, 
And uh, he's going to come home the winner here tonight. Goes into three. Good job going into three. Coming around four. And looking down the long front stretch, Sean Butler going to bring it to the checkered flag here at Indianapolis. Great race, Sean. Congratulations to you, buddy. A great race, Sean. Good race to all of you guys. Oh, yeah. This was a great race. Super. Did and you say super? Super. <laughs> super. Super. Super duper. All right. So everybody's going to go around to the cool down lap here because, uh, believe it or not, incident counts or incident points still count until you cross that finish line one more time. So, sure does, and boy, they can get some missing the points, and you don't need that here. No. All right, we're going to slow her down. He coming out of three here. And let me know what the guys are all done congratulating there, Ed, and we'll get down near trackside and talk to them. If you want to do uh, – how about if I do uh, the winner, and, Ed, you do second place, and, Michael, you want to interview third? Uh, no, I, I – I, I really enjoyed being up here with you tonight, but <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want to screw that up but for the for the crowd we have watching tonight. But okay. Uh, okay, well, I thought I'd open the door for you there, buddy, and give you that chance, you know. Yeah, I just trying to think back to what I did to you that I deserve that. <laughs> 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 no, Ed and Rudy, Ed, it's great being up here with you guys all the time, and um. Love uh, seeing uh, you guys out there in the chat room, man. That's great seeing you all showing up like that all the time, man. Love to have you out there. And uh, with that, I'll let you get to the drivers, right. and I'm out of here. All right. Okay, okay well, buddy. Don't go too far because I want to talk to you. Damn far. All right. Are they talking yet, Ed? Okay. Let's go do our interview with Rudy. All right. Sean Butler, this is Rudy Cummings in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Great race, Sean. Man, you did you did a great job out there today. You kind of stayed back a little bit and let them guys battle it out. Saved your tires. Got a good run on uh, um, uh, Travis, and you wound up bringing it home today. Congratulations, buddy. Tell us a little bit about how the racing was out there for you. Well, that was a... Uh the first time I've been here in this car, and it was definitely a little bit of a challenge, and I don't know how Travis is so fast on new tires, but uh, I just was able to keep right with him within like a second or so, and then he just kind of fall back to me, and uh, I was just back there kind of just cruising along, saving tires like you were talking about, and uh, man, it all worked out. He, uh, it would have been an interesting battle. It would have been might have been a different story if he hadn't touched that rumble strip a little bit more than I did in that corner and kind of hit the wall, but I'll take it. Well, it was, you did a super job out there today, Sean. Uh, yeah, we, we've, we've been kind of watching, uh, you know, not taking anything away from Travis's driving style at all because he is a superb racer at just about any of the series that we run. But uh, we've been kind of watching, and, you know, he, he is really super on, super fast on uh, new tires. And it's like you say, you know, after 10, 15, 20 laps or something like that, he has a window there where he does kind of fall off just a little bit. And maybe that's what, you you know, let you reel him up. But uh, all in all, you did a, you did a <laughs> fabulous job out there today, Sean. Uh, you want to give a quick shout-out to anybody? Again, just great job to Travis. Uh, he's really fast, and I just I wish we could have raced it out at the end there, but it uh, wasn't meant to be today. And thanks to you guys for putting these on, and look forward to doing this again next week. All right, Sean. Well, I just kind of wanted to quickly, uh, I guess for all the viewers and stuff, uh, from what I understand, you're not going to be with us here in a couple weeks uh because of your job you're going to be going to another shift and we're really really saddened by that news i mean you just have no idea you know we love to see you out on the track 
you know, running as well as you do, and we're going to miss you, buddy. But, uh, you know, we don't want you leaving the league or nothing. Hey, we'll try to get some races up during the day if you're around, and and uh, at least you can get in and race something, you know. So, But we're sorry to hear that, buddy. But, you know, hey, duty calls, and you got to do what you got to do. So, But uh, anyhow, great race, Sean, and congratulations again on your win. Back to you, Ed. 10 4, Rudy. Hey, Travis, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you, Ed. Oh, what a great run, man. You had you had the tires, um, about 14, 15 laps. Your tires started giving away there. You were losing ground. Sean was right on your bumper for the longest time there. And, man, you just like, wow. Car was fast. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, your run and your first run you had? Yeah, the first one was pretty good. I was kind of in the same boat as Sean there, have limited to, you know, no experience really on this track. So I got in here and ran a few practice laps, kind of a basic line down. I guess I was burning up the right front a little bit more than what Sean and uh, Kevin was there in the first run. So they ran me down, but uh, managed the tires pretty well on that one. In the second run, I, I just ran the car entirely too hard there. Yeah, 10 for there, uh, Travis. Yeah, I saw you there. Um, you were blinking out a little bit, and, and you, uh, I remember uh, seeing Sean pass you there for the lead, and you were on his bumper. Then all of a sudden, you, your car got really, really loose. You hit the wall, bounced off. You saved it. What a save you made there. That was awesome watching you save that car um, from going on the inside wall. You just kept it straight, and, and like you said, man, you got to hold that brake and that gas at the same time to keep that car uh, straight on that track. And, well, you did a heck of a job doing that, buddy. I just want to congratulate you on that, that good save you made. And I see Kevin uh, Scofield was, is coming up on trying to catch you, but uh, he didn't have nothing for you. Um, like I said, you were, got, you were fast there at that point in a way. But congratulations on second place there again, Travis. And uh, you want to give a wave out and uh, thank you out to anybody out there tonight? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Sean and Kevin there. You know, like I said, they, they ran a clean race. Uh, you know, we ran kind of close to each other there on the first round and the start of that second one. And everybody gave each other room. You know, kept it you know, clean for the most part there. Um, Thank you guys up there in the booth once again. You know, all you guys announcing the race. You know, do a great job as always. And uh, thank you all for promoting this league and putting it on, letting us come out here and have some fun. You bet there, Travis. Well, congratulations again to uh, Sean Butler and Travis uh, Townsend there. And back to you, Rudy. All right. Thank you, Ed. Hey, uh, Kevin Schofield, this is Rudy Cummings in the booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I do, Rudy. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, congratulations. Bringing home third today. Tell us uh, how the racing was out there for you today because it looked like you might have been struggling toward the end there trying to reel Travis in. Yeah, um, I liked to have the car handled better on the first run before the pit stop. I don't know. I seemed faster. Maybe it was due to how I was driving it. Um, I always seemed to lose time in turn one. That's where they would always make up time on me whether if it was when I passed Travis or when Sean was behind me in third. But it seemed like I was better through three and four because I'd always pick up, I'd always make the time right back up that I lost. Uh, so, you know, the car was really feeling good that first run. And, uh, you know, I blew it pretty much uh, on the pit stop. I wasn't expecting the tires to slide that much, and I was trying to get into my stall quick and get done. So I missed my box by about a foot, and I completely blew my rhythm, blew... Uh, my, I don't, I don't know what the word is, uh, my, I just couldn't concentrate. I couldn't focus after that. I, I was really pissed off about it. It was my own fault. So, uh, you know, I started third, but having the inside line, I was able to pass Sean early, and I was getting right behind Travis. There was a bunch of times where I was quicker than him, and I was getting runs on him going down the back stretch. There was a couple times where I was going to pass him, and I would have had the inside line going into three, but he was blinking, so I decided I'll just hold off and wait because I don't want to cause an issue and wreck the three of us. Uh, but, you know, looking back on it, maybe if I had done that and was able to execute the pass, it would have been different. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it is. And there was one time I was really really close to Travis when he both nailed the outside wall hard, and that was the nail in the coffin at that point. You know, my rhythm was gone. Everything was gone. And then once Sean got by me, uh, he was saving his tires, like he said. 
once he got by me and him and Travis were running so close together, whatever little effect the draft has on these cars going down the front stretch and the long back stretch, they were just able to fly away from it really quick. And there was no chance of me getting, you know, to catch back up. So all in all, it's good. It's a top three finish. A little disappointed. I would have liked to win it. I think I had a chance to win it. But, you know, got to take what you can get. Well, thank you for that. Uh, Kevin, you do an absolutely beautiful job, you know, describing, uh, you know, your racing and stuff. Uh, very detailed and very informative. And I want to thank you big time for that. Uh, the viewers really love that when you describe, you know, how your racing went because you, you, you know, you describe it in length and detail and, and, and it's just great, you know, but I wanted to thank you, you know, for that. But anyhow, congratulations on your third spot finish today. I know it's not what you wanted, but I know you'll take it. Third place ain't, that's, you know, that's a pretty good finish here at Indianapolis. This is a, a tough track here, not much banking in the turns and uh it, but it does provide some very fast straightway uh uh racing here because because uh, we've seen you a couple times up to 207 going uh right at the end of the front stretch and that's just amazing that that's a lot of speed to carry down that front stretch and going into turn one so but uh all right well great job out there today by all the drivers and thank you uh Kevin, for that interview, that was great. Love it. And uh, thanks to all the drivers. And uh, we will see you next week. I'm not sure exactly where we run next week, but uh, that will close out the broadcast here, and we will see you next week. And thank you, guys. All right, Ed, let's, let's – uh, we're not, not going to close out the broadcast yet. we got to run down the results here real quick and – and uh, we'll get this thing closed out. But uh, Sean Butler taking home the win here. Uh, Travis Townsend in second. Kevin Schofield third. Stephen Pearson fourth. Uh, Derek Cormier fifth. Thomas Lee sixth. Stephen Hollingsworth uh, seventh. Michael Norris eighth. Robert Craze ninth. Thomas Brandner tenth. Matthew Breckel eleventh. Teddy Wisniewski finishing 12th, Kevin O'Brien 13th, Mike Vining 14th, and Vic Greenwood rounding out the field in the 15th spot. So, uh, all right, well, that's going to do it for here. Ed, you got any last-minute comments you want to make about the race? Yeah, Rudy, I, all in all, buddy, I think it was an awesome race here at Indianapolis. Um, like you saying, Rudy, uh, not very uh, steep bankings here. Uh, to me, it's like a... Um, like a flat track, you have to be. The bankage are not very steep, you know what I mean? So, um, all in all, it's a good race from all the drivers. Um, one caution, that's awesome. Um, good race, 60 laps here, Rudy. It's just a sweet race. I um, want to congratulate all the drivers that raced here tonight with us. Um, congratulate our uh, top three finishers there, uh, Sean Butler, Travis Townsend, and Kevin Schofield. Um, and that's it. I about wrap it up there, Rudy, for me. Um, it's all you, buddy. All right. Well, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up here. Uh, and thanks to all the viewers for tuning in tonight. Appreciate it very, very much. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night for the, the B-Class race. Join us here same time. Uh, let's see. I think they're running at. Let's see where they're running at here. They're running at Bristol. Going to be turning 250 laps at Bristol tomorrow night, folks. So, want to be there. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be fun, and it's going to be a blast. <laughs> yep. It's going to be some fast, you know, short track racing for tomorrow night, folks. So tune in tomorrow night, same time. Uh, you can check us out, uh, you know, at maxspeedtv.com. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash maxspeedtv. Uh, fault, make sure you click that follow button under the viewing screen right here. All the info you need is right below that viewing screen where it will take you to the website, uh, the Maximum Speed Racing website, if you're thinking about joining us and getting in some of these because we do run four series now. Uh, run trucks on Tuesday, the Gen 6 on Wednesdays, and uh, the B car on Thursdays, and the V8 supercars on Saturdays. Now, I race in the one on Saturday, but I will be broadcasting out my windshield. So, you know, you'll be there with me racing. So, uh, but until tomorrow night, we will uh, check you, catch you at Bristol tomorrow night 
for 250 laps. We'll see you then.